as we are taught, we must be also taught to observe those things that we have learned. And that will be a lifetime career. Studying the Word of God cannot be counted in times. You have to remain in the Word of God. You have to continue in the Word of God. John 8.31 Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on Him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. We must continue in the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said to the Jews that have already faith in him, If ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. You do not just study the word of God, and you do not count the times that you have to study the word of God. I started studying the Word of God when I was aged 17. I do not count the times. Even if I spend my whole lifetime studying the Word of God, I'm willing to. You see, but what we need to do is to continue in the Word of God. Once you have learned a particular teaching, then continue in it. And God will teach you more and more and more and more and you will progress in faith so you do not uh, count the times or you do not count the moment or the occasions wherein you are going to study the word of god as a beginner you must listen to the indoctrination sessions that we are giving free to people it may take you about two weeks or three weeks of devoted listening to some 12 or 15 sessions of indoctrination before you can receive baptism. Those are the preliminary teachings that you have to receive. But after that, you do not stop. We will teach you on how to observe, how to do, how to follow after baptism. You do not stop there at baptism. After baptism, as the Lord Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20, Brother Daniel. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. If you have noticed what the Lord Jesus Christ said, after baptism, He said to the apostles, teaching them to observe all things, whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you until the end of the age. Meaning, after baptism, you are not yet true. You have to be taught to observe the teachings that you have learned, the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. As a child, you will be instructed, you will be helped, you will be nourished by the teachings as we continue living in this world of turmoil and confusion and temptations and sins. We must always be guided by the teachings of the Lord the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we are taught, we must be also taught to observe those things that we have learned. And that will be a lifetime career.